Okay guys, this is going to be my review of The Trial of the Chicago 7. This is a Netflix original film by Aaron Sorkin, that's why. Um, but that's not why I watch Molly's Game, so th those two are not related. That's, it's more of the other way around. I watch Molly's Game, so then... I decided to watch this film. So it's not like, oh, I, I'm i going to watch Child Chicago 7, so I'm going to watch Molly's Game. I mainly watched that because, you know, I wanted to see it because I was liking, you know, I'm starting to get into, like, poker and stuff, so that's why I kind of watched Molly's Game, even though it's it's really not not about that. But anyway, so this is a film about a trial that, honestly, they don't even teach you in school. Like, that's, because, like, last year I took civics, and, like, we learned about, like, like big trials, like, like, um, like, the Miranda trial and all that stuff. But this was not one of them um, that we learned about. So, it's kind of fascinating to see. And, you know, the, you know, um, but it was interesting, you know, many of the, the different layers of this trial, I think. Like, beyond, like, like first off, kind of a more biased-type judge. That, that he, he seems, um, he seems, what's it called? Unrealistically, like... Not well, sort of racist, but unrealistically rude and incompetent. But then I'm like, I, I have faith that Aaron Sorkin did his research about, you know, this type of stuff. He's not just like, let's make a weird, you know, crazy judge. But yeah, I mean, but uh, but they're they're self aware. Like, let's make like let's make let's talk about how this judge is weird. And kind of like the idea of like, like they started it, but you know, trying to lower their sentence and. And, and all the stuff about, like, them coming together, and, because it, it, it takes, and, and, um, and so, yeah, I just think it was kind of that, the, the, the dynamics of these different characters, you know, what, what is ultimately, what I love about it is, it's really seven completely different characters coming together to unite for a common cause, you know, and, and, um, this film never loses sight. That it's it's not it's not about the protests. It's not about the the um the, the trial. It's about this idea of we're doing it for this guy who died in the war. 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 And in that that final scene that is getting so overly criticized makes light of that. Now, what I will say about the final scene is that that it does seem melodramatic in the sense where everybody's cheering, everybody's clapping. Yet they they were just sentenced to to jail for for you know a, a handful of years, and I think it's like you get like the whole you know fist stuff and, and all that stuff, but it felt like a little bit on the side of let's make it like I, I, it, this is a victory, but I did love that like how because like this it was hard to end in a happy way this film because of the nature of they ultimately were found guilty and do i believe well personally like like do i think that they should have been found guilty i i think what the the facts are there that while their their cause was right while it, they had no intention of violence it, i think it, it 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 would it would seem as though it, it that they were that the, there was it was hard to work around the evidence, you know, type thing, but, but it was just the perfect way to end, where it's like, what, it doesn't cut the crap, it doesn't, like, because, like, he was literally asked, you can, we can lower your sentence by the following, you give us a short, you know, brief, um, brief, um, remorseful, you know, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, uh, final, you know, stand, you know, your final thoughts of sorts. But no, but they took that time. And what I love about having it be the, the, what's the character's name? The, um, trial of the Chicago Chicago's. You know, having it, having it be Tom Hayden. Having it, having it be Tom Hayden was the perfect thing because the, throughout the whole film, what's this kid? Um, Abby. The whole film, Abby. Abby had this philosophy of we're, we're, during this trial, we're not here to lower our sentence. We're not here to prove innocent. We're here to make a statement. But Tom 
throughout this whole film has bickered and argued with Abby that no, we're not here to make a statement. We're not here to to just just to make a st- like we're here to lower a sentence to prove our innocence. That's why we're here. So he always took Tom always took the mindset of no, we're not just making this about a big statement. We're not being making this about anything like that. No, we're making it so we can lower our sentence and get out of going to jail. And that's just, what I love is it, it, it concludes a whole character arc by, at the end of the day, what does he do? He reads the names of the people who died in the war. Because that, that this film never lose sight of, yes, it's about the protest, and yes, it's about the trial, but ultimately, what is the trial for? What is the protest for? It's for a war that these are who were killed in it, and cutting any of the crap. This is this is really what happened. This is what went down. This is why. This is the why. This is the when. This is the 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 where of everything. Because this guy is now dead because of this war. This guy's dead because of this war, and it doesn't lose sight of that. On top of again, like I said, that the complete character arc at the beginning. He's just like he's he's uh, arguing with Abby about. No, we're not here. To, to make a statement, we're here to, you know, get out of any, any punishments, you know, like we are, like anybody's supposed to do in, in trial, in court, but guess what, at the end of the day, what does Tom do? He makes a statement, you know, so I, I think that's interesting, and, and, you know, all the performances are great, and it is, it is an all-star cast, you know, through and through, but honestly, like, a cast of, of, you know, I guess what would be the word, um, you know, it had a good mix of, like, old, you know, not old actors, but old, um, established actors, but then, I think up-and-coming actors, what I mean by up-and-coming, I mean of, like, the last decade, you know, because, like, we look at this cast, and you're, like, they're, in the past, like, these are some of the best actors of, like, the past five years, as opposed to across many, many years, um, um, So, uh, um, so I think it was, now, is it the best Netflix film, best film Netflix has ever made? And by the way, the protest scenes were cool, the, the, the actual court, like, he, like, Aaron Sorkin's the best at court, just, just stuff at all, like, in general. He, he practically invented the, the, the idea of a, of a legal thriller. He pra- not just legal thriller, but legal, not legal thriller, but court-based stories, you know, because, like, you look at this film, you look at, you know, A Few Good Men, you're like, like, I love, and, and part of the, the two best films, or the, the two, the, honestly, some of the best parts about the two films, if you want to make the compa- comparison to A Few Good Men in this film, is the banter in court between the, 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 the attorneys, the, and the judge, and the, the witnesses, and, and stuff like that, and, and, and the, between the, the judges, the judges, and the lawyers, and, I don't know, it, it, it deals with so much complex things, it, you know, being that it's a period piece, you can kind of, like, that, because it really, like I said this about Molly's game, because this really happened, it had that extra impact that, when you watch a film that really happened, you ha- when you watch a film that doesn't happen, you're like, oh, cool, but that can't actually happen. But you're more invested in the story, because these are real characters. These are what real people went through. What real people felt in that moment i'm sure yeah obviously no as unless it's not a documentary no historical film is ever that accurate sure sure like in real life tom uh, um like i don't think um like some of this stuff didn't happen sure sure but i don't care the, the fact that the the core essence of this film happened is is um it's pretty crazy, but um, I really liked it. But like I said, back to the point. Is this the best film Netflix has ever made? Probably not. It's the second best. Okay, so let's give the top five Netflix films that I've seen. Okay, I, I honestly, I probably, if I'm thinking correctly, I've only seen, not five, I've seen like probably. So films that, I, uh, films that I've seen. I've seen The Irishman. I've seen this film. I've seen The Five Bloods. Um, I've seen... Uh, like, there's this Netflix, there's a bunch, like, a f- couple Adam Sandler, Netflix, whatever, films, The Old Guard, um, what happened, what ha- um, what happened to Monday, um, this one is my second favorite. Now, granted, it's not a big list, 
but it's ahead of Defy Bloods. Ahead of it's ahead of Old Guard. The one Netflix original film this is not better than I believe is The Irishman. Now The Irishman, a few things I I did have. It's not like I believe Irishman's a perfect film. I'm just saying personally like it more. I think problems I have with The Irishman is that I think there's some unnecessary scenes. Now is there problems with this film? Um, I same thing. I do think there. I think part of it was they didn't give enough. I guess. I, I liked that they went out of order, but I would have liked more, I guess, what's the word? Character development. Because when you, when you, when you talk about, like, yes, the, the, you have a lot of development with, with Tom Hayden, with Abby and his other hippie friend, and, 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 um, and, uh, and what's the other guy's name? The guy from, uh, shoot, 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 watch me. Lucas making a video. Um, Bobby Bobby Seal, um, and and you know the 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 judge or not the judge sorry, their lawyer and then you know the other the the you know the prosecutor's lawyers and whatever all that stuff, but but the whole seven as the seven as a whole you don't get that much development of, but also um, just as, I think. Um, I think as as kind of stuff like that. I think um, I would have liked, I guess, a couple more scenes of what, as a human being, wanted them to do this. What um, give them backgrounds of who they are, because I get that this is about the trial, but I think there was something about knowing who they are that is is key to this trial, this idea of, because you get it in the context of this situation, but the why they are the way they are, I guess, as a human being, and I, but, but there's, uh, to that point, I don't think there's enough time to do that, and, and it's well directed, it is well, obviously, the, um, Obviously, the, the screenplay is great. Obviously, performance is great. The story is great. I, I'm just nitpicking at this point. But yeah, I really did like it. And so, anyways, stay tuned for videos coming at you.